You know that awkward spot under the stairs? It's not really good for anything. Instead of doing something ridiculous like using it for storage, I figured the next best option would be a cat living room. <laughs> hey Wonderfuls, Kayla here. Pull me out, pull me out. <laughs> Well, I had that little space under the stairs closed off for several years now. For some reason the cats always wanted to get in there, so I thought I would open it up, clean it out, and set it up for them. It started with some wood paneled walls from leftover flooring scraps and some dollar store adhesive tiles. And some curtains and fireplace just to kind of set the scale. And it kind of started giving a mid-century basement feel. So I went with it. And it added some suitable decor. Next, the fireplace got a realistic touch. So now the nighttime ambiance was set, but they still needed some sort of uh, daylight. So I utilized the curtains as a window, so to speak, and stuck another battery-powered light to the wall behind it to act as a little sunshine. And furniture was the next step. As if it wasn't already ridiculous enough. So sticking with our mid-century decor and some local inspiration, I uh, used some scrap materials again and some crafting finesse and put together a nice little living room set for the kitties. Who wouldn't love an old school table set and pop us on chair for their mid century living room? I love it, but I still feel like it's missing something. Maybe some shag carpeting, a beaded curtain perhaps. The friggin' cats. Yeah, I'm calling this one a fail. The cats don't even hang out in there, they could care less. Even though the project's a fail, it's a lot better than it was before, and at the very least, it looks cute. Please comment any ideas of how I can entice the cats to go hang out there. Be good, stay safe, thanks for watching.